Hi everyone, Aiden here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install this Custer trailer tail light. Now this is going to be an incandescent tail light. So there are plenty of LED options that I would maybe personally recommend on our site to check out. But this is going to give you all your standard functions. We've got our running light on right now. We're also going to get our turn signal and our brake lights here. It is pretty bright, so I think visibility isn't going to be an issue at all with this. I just prefer the LED for the efficiency and just the overall long lasting nature of them. The outer lens is going to be a nice durable impact resistant material. It's good to know it'll at least last a long time on the road being out in the elements. It does actually feel a bit warm to the touch right now. Again, another drawback of incandescent is just it gets heated up a lot quicker. LEDs will run significantly cooler, but that is just something to keep in mind. Everything on here is sealed and waterproof though, so this is completely submersible. If you do have plans to put this on a boat trailer, you won't have to worry about any sort of water intrusion with it being in and around water. And the install for this is going to be pretty straightforward and simple. Check out how we did it. We'll start our installation off by removing our old light. The one we have here is just attached with this grommet piece here. So I'll get a plastic trim panel tool and use that to pry up around the edges until we can get that out of the housing here on the trailer. Kind of working our way around like this. Once we have it removed, we can come around back to our PL3 plug and unplug it. And then go and grab our new light. So this is how we're gonna get your light doesn't have any method for mounting it right out of the box, so you will need to pick up something like this rubber grommet. We can just slide the housing of the light into the grommet, kind of push it into place. You can see on the back here that this is actually what's holding it in place. It's kind of overlapping a bit. And then we've got our PL3 plug. You can just plug that into the male end on our trailer here. If you don't have this already on your trailer, you can pick up that plug on our site as well hard line it into the trailer, and then you've got it for the plug and play light here. So we'll just insert that into place. And once you've got it plugged in like that, we can just tuck all the wiring back in here, and we can pop the light and grommet into place. I usually like to start at the top or bottom. You can kind of feel that seat in there and you can just work your way around the whole thing. With everything plugged in and attached to the trailer, we can test our functions, starting with our running lights, our turn signal, and our brake lights. Once we've verified that all of those are working as intended, we can go ahead and hit the road. And that'll do it for our look at and installation of this Custer trailer tail light. Thanks for watching.